In this video, we're going to talk about how to take this very valuable but boring email and spice it up into something a little bit more readable and a little bit more clickable across the account. And we're going to use Go High Level for this. And you can see whether it's on desktop or whether it's on my mobile that there's really valuable information here probably, but whether I'm using dark mode or light mode on my phone, doesn't really matter. It's just text. It's just more information. So we want to give this email, the personality of the company and the founder. Um, and we are going to be highlighting independence boost, a financial literacy and credit repair company in Indianapolis, Indiana, specifically their founder, Josh Matthews. And so we're going to use go high level today. And we are going to just build this from scratch. I've already done this in sort of a test. So that way I can make it quick for you guys inside of go high levels account. You can go to marketing, emails, templates, and you can make a new template. That's what we're going to be doing today. I should note that they have a lot of templates, but not being able to navigate a template won't be very much help. So we're going to start from scratch. And we're going to look at the basics of this email to get that established first. Okay. Okay. We have an intro. We have, you know, Tristan, we have some text, we have a checkout. What do we want to make better? Well, we definitely want to add like the brand imagery and logos in here. We want to add if, if it's from a founder or from somebody, we want to add that person here. If we can add more personality, some social media links uh, are, are no longer unsubscribed. We want to be a little bit cleaner. And then for readability, like I mentioned earlier, we want this to be a little bit easier to read and for it to be more incentive to click. Is this underlined because I'm supposed to click here? Obviously, it says click here, but... Uh, how do I actually know immediately that that is a link? Those are some of the things we're going to do right here inside of Go High Level. So let's start from scratch with this template. The first thing I'm going to do, since this is a a um, since this is a brand with a darker logo, so I'm going to go to Appearance Template, and I'm going to change the background to be a little bit more this this darker gray. Okay. You can also decide how wide you want the content to be. And th what this will affect is the width um, of the material later, which you know, you'll be able to see. I'm also going to update some mobile formatting to say, hey, when I have a paragraph on mobile, I want the font size to be 14 and the line height to be 1.25. And you'll see why that matters here in a moment. But this gives us some control over mobile versus um, desktop, and it also allows us to edit the entire template itself. The next thing I'm going to do is add the sections that I need, because I've noticed that when you're editing uh, in any editor, when you start adding sections in, when you already have text and other information, it starts to kind of mess up. So what kind of sections of ours I talking about? A header, a main body, a footer, and since I'm talking about another service or product, I probably want to highlight them. So I'll have a section for that as well. So I'll come in here, I'm going to add a section for our header. And every time I add a section, I'm going to take the padding off. I'm going to put all the padding to zero. That's what I prefer to do. I prefer to go add spacing later than to have the padding because then stuff looks weird later. You don't know why. I've got a footer. No spacing. I've got the section that I'm going to use for my intro. I've got the section I'm going to use to highlight the brand and company we're talking about. I've got the main body section, which is really here. So I'm just going to uh, take the section off of that. And then when I get down to the bottom and I say, you know, your partner in credit, you saw in my previous design that I'm going to have a section for the footer and it never hurts to, you know, over add sections. You can always cut them later. So I'm going to take these off and let's get started. Let's first get the header in here. Now, Independence Boost has a pretty good logo. So we're going to replace this with Independence Boost logo. But what we're going to find here is that it's a giant square. Okay. And so if I want to shrink this down, 
let's say I go ahead and shrink it down to width 200. It still has this big block around it, okay? So I'm going to keep it max size. I'm going to take my own little screenshot here that's just the width of the logo. I'm going to replace this with that screenshot. It'll be on my desktop momentarily. I'm going to move this width back to 200. Easy to read. And then I'm going to take this whole entire section by clicking here. And I'm going to make the background to it black by going to Advanced, Black. Next, I'm going to add our intro. Tristan, credit scores can be the cornerstone of financial trust. That's why I'm thrilled to, thrilled to introduce Kickoff, an ingenious tool that can elevate your credit score all without the dreaded hard inquiry on your credit report. Sweet. With that, I'm going to add a paragraph. I'm going to add text here. And I'm going to remove this you know, bold text here. We don't really need that. That's actually what Go High Level considers header text, heading here. You can change that to paragraph as well. Remove all this text to 14. And this is going to Tristan, but you should do your own research on, you know, how to put uh, people's names inside of an email. It's typically how you do it on Go High Level, and it would replace there. We're going to use Tristan for now, though. Ah, we'll, use, we'll keep first name. It will not populate later when I do a test, though. And then I'm already mentioning kickoff here in the header, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a link for kickoff. Let's go grab this copy link address, and I'm actually going to open this link to see you know what it looks like. So I'm going to grab a link here, link the URL, Let's make sure it actually goes. And you can see it underlines it, but I want to go ahead and add a little highlight, a little green, so that way it's clear I'm talking about kickoff. And I'm going to add the green because it matches their brand. Now, if you want a little pixel dropper, you can get the exact color code. I can go here, use a little pixel dropper. They're super easy to find. Just get a Chrome extension. I think this this is a little bright, but it's not my doesn't really matter. Take this out. It'll fix itself. Okay, kick off. An ingenious tool to elevate your credit score without the dreaded hard inquiry on your credit report. Now I want to highlight kickoff here. I'm gonna actually show people what they would expect to see on the site. Right? So I'm gonna grab a screenshot from this page. And I'm going to basically go from corner to corner of the material that actually matters. And I'm going to put that inside my email. Go ahead and hit replace here. I already took a screenshot here earlier. You can see from where I tested it. You can see it here too. And now I'm going to get the rest of my body text. By signing up on kickoff, don't wait to join kickoff now. Now I'm midway through this, so I'm going to press save real quick, just so that way if anything messes up, I'm good to go. I always recommend that. You definitely don't want to um, you know, lose your work or and that can happen sometimes. So make sure you save midway through here. And then I'm going to format this text to be a little bit easier to read by adding some extra lines. By signing up with Kickoff, you pay just $5 a month for 12 months. What you receive is a $750 line of credit. And the best part, you don't need to handle a physical card. Everything is digital, digital but a result is a healthy score. It's very real. Ready to sign up, click here. I want to get that code from earlier. So if I click here, can copy and paste it.
What I appreciate most is their transparency. There are no hidden fees. Add an extra line here. Plus, they offer 0% APR. After making payments for a year, you'll have a full year's payment history and report, a key factor in boosting your score. Signing up for ClickUp is easy. All you need is your name, email, phone address. Add a new line here. First kick off, you can get started. Establish your credit report. Click here to get started. Just remember, kickoff reports to Equifax and Experian, not TransUnion, but that shouldn't stop you. If you're looking to either build or build your credit or simply want to add another line of credit without a hard time, kickoff is for you. Hard inquiry, I would be happier, couldn't be happier with my kickoff experience, and I believe you feel the same way. Don't wait, join kickoff now. Shout out to kickoff. I actually personally use this as well, thanks to Josh's advice. Okay. Now, we have a section here for our footer and our outro, right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go from the bottom up now that we're done here. I'm going to save this one more time. We're going to add standard footer here, the bottom section. And we are going to grab all the fonts here. Sorry, not all the font, but all the text here and change it to 10 because it's unsubscribe information. And then I'm going to do like a from Josh um you know your partner i want to i want to put josh over here essentially so i'm going to grab an image i'm going to hit replace and if i don't see that image here i can go to relocated item usually you see kind of everything there so i'll grab this image and again i'm going to turn all my padding off Then I'm going to grab our text. To your partner in credit, Josh Matthews. And I'm going to change that back to paragraph. And I can add my social media links at the bottom here too. Now come standard, I'm going to change it that here. We're going to delete Twitter, Google plus Pinterest, but we're going to add YouTube and we're going to add LinkedIn. Add LinkedIn. Now the thing here, I'm not going to customize these right now. I am going to align them left by going to edit styles, center, left. And for each one of these, if I click here, you can override them and put the URL. Okay, so you can go ahead and, and do that yourself. And I'm going to save this and I'm going to preview to see what it looks like. I shouldn't need that extra section. I guess I added one extra section. So good. It's good. It's always good to add extra sections. And earlier I was adding them one by one. You know, you can also duplicate sections here. Save. Now, if I want to preview this, I can go to preview template. And I can see what it's going to look like on desktop. On a tablet. And on mobile. I think this looks great, but I do think there's a little extra space here. So I'm going to see what I can do about some padding that's up here. So my image likely has padding on it. That's exactly what's going on. Not the image section, but the image itself. And then I can check this, ta this text here and see that it has padding as well. So I'm going to take the padding down to five. Save. Let's preview it now. Not as much. Excellent. Now, some people prefer maybe a round image. You can always upload one of those or build one in Canva. Some people would prefer, um, you know, for there to be a little bit of space here. I personally don't. Uh, I mean, if you want to add this extra space here, if you want to add it back, it's really easy. Just head over here and we're going to go add that padding back. So we'll click on the image. Sorry, the section, I believe it is.
I lost my padding. Here we go. Take padding. And we're going to say, hey, I want some, I want 10 on the left, 10 on the right. No problem. And then if I want to move this too, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to turn padding back on. I want, you know, 10 on the left. And you can see when you start making some changes in your in your builder that some text doesn't always get get fixed or apply. Not sure why that happens. Which is why I added all my sections earlier. So let's go get this section again. Save template. Now let's go test this and see how it looks in our inbox. New template. App feature. Save. And you can also go to the settings here. This is where you set, you know, who it comes from. Gosh, at independence boost. this I'm not sure what he had the uh, preview text to be so I'm just gonna keep the same for now but obviously you don't have to do that and then I'm going to test this email and send it to myself so it's gonna come from Josh at independence boost independenceboost.com send to me Credit score could be higher, send test email. It's going to pop up in my inbox, and I'm also going to check it on my phone to see the difference. If I like it, I'll save it, and I'll keep it. If I want to circle back and make some changes, I will. From Josh. Boom. See, it doesn't have Tristan here, but is this a lot cleaner than the last experience? Definitely. Also, you can see the unsubscribe is a lot cleaner at the bottom. The copyright is clean. The from is clean. This looks great. If I check this on my mobile device, it's also much cleaner, much easier to read. You can see these um, clicks here are a little smaller, this text link text, so I can definitely go you know, fix that during my test. You can just make, make sure that's the right size, 14 instead of 12. You can see that this was probably 12 instead of 14. But to me, this looks great. This is a tremendous update compared to the first email, which was just as valuable. The information is just the same, but the packaging is different. I hope you find this valuable. If you have any questions, reach out to support at remotemediateam.com. And if you'd like some help building your own emails inside of Go High Level, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask some questions. Look forward to talking with you soon. Thanks.